Hi everyone, Landra Assistant here for our math problem of the day. One of our followers from Africa asked us to solve equations that are quadratic in form. Here is an example. Let's say we are given x to the 8 minus 15 x to the 4 minus 16 equals 0 and we are asked to solve for x. Notice that this equation is an equation that is quadratic in form. We know that this equation is quadratic in form because if it happens that this exponent 8 is 2 and this exponent 4 is 1, then we have here a quadratic equation. So our goal in this problem is to be able to rewrite this given equation in the form any variable, let's say the variable a, raised to exponent 2, then we just copy the coefficient and the sign times the variable a raised to exponent 1 minus 16 equals 0. Because if we can rewrite this given equation into a form like this, then we can easily solve the left side of this equation using factoring. So let's now do the necessary substitution. First, we look at the middle term and we let this x to the fourth be equal to any variable. In this case, we let the variable to be equal to a. Now, if a is equal to x to the fourth, that means a squared is x to the fourth raised to the second. And by power of power rule, this is equal to x raised to 8. So we now have the value for x raised to 8, and that is a squared. And we now have our substitution for this x to the fourth, which is a. And with this as our substitutions, then from the original given equation, we can now replace this x to the 8 by the value of x to the 8, which is a to the second. So this x to the 8 is now a to the second. Similarly, since in our substitution x to the fourth is equal to a, then this x to the fourth now is replaced by a. All the rest are just copied. Notice that a squared minus 15a minus 16 is a factorable trinomial. So how do we factor this out? We take this negative 16 and we look for factors of negative 16 such that when we add, the result is negative 15. And those two factors are negative 16 times positive 1. Because negative 16 times 1 is negative 16, but when you add negative 16 plus positive 1, the result is negative 15, which is the coefficient of our middle term. We can now write, therefore, the left side as the quantity a minus 16 times the quantity a plus 1 equals 0. And so solving now for a, when the product of two factors is equal to 0, it implies that one of them must be 0. So we can have a minus 16 equals 0 or the second factor a plus 1 equals 0. And solving now for a at the left side, a is equal to positive 16 and at the right side, a is equal to negative 1. At this point, what we have is just the value of a. We do not know yet what is the value of x. And that is now what we are going to solve for in the next step. So knowing now that a equals 16 or a equals negative 1, we can now substitute this value for the value of a, which is a equals x to the fourth. Knowing that a is equal to 16, then in the first part at the left, we can replace this a by 16 and copy x to the fourth. And at the right side, we can replace a by negative 1 and just copy all the rest. At the left side, solving now for x, we can extract the fourth root of both sides to get x equals plus or minus 2. Then notice that at the right side, this is not a real number because you cannot find any number such that when you multiply that number four times, the result is negative 1. And so for our final answers, we only consider x equals positive 2 or x equals negative 2 x to the fourth equals negative 1 is an extraneous root. So this is now our final answer. So thank you very much.